Hey everybody, this is Dr. Eric DePuty. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about something that really just, you know what, it really bothers me. You know, you've heard that phrase before, the truth will set you free, right? Well, I'm going to give you some truth, but here's the reality. Truth is also controversial, which is funny, especially when there's big money involved. Did you know that we spend about 3 to $3.5 trillion a year on our healthcare and our society? Trillion with a T. I don't know if you've heard this or not, but we have a bit of a problem with our healthcare society and our healthcare system in this world. We have more sick people now than we've ever had. We're spending more money than we've ever spent. We spend more money, the United States of America does, than the top five other countries on the list combined. That's crazy. But yet we're not getting better results. In fact, we're getting worse results. Our mortality rate for infants is higher than it's ever been. We're getting sicker than we've ever had. More heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke. What's the deal? It's because our system is completely screwed up. We are a reactive system. We are a treating the symptom system. There's a comic, his name's Chris Rock, he used to do this skit called, ain't no money in the cure, can't cure cancer, ain't no money in that. Well, I'm going to tell you something. People have been treating and curing cancer for a long time. People have been treating and curing heart disease for a long time. People have been treating and curing pain for a long time. It can be done, but you got to do it. You're the one that cures it, not us. You got to get healthy. There's a recent study that was done in the, in the American Journal of Medicine, the number one medical journal out there, and it talked about how, they, and it was an actuary study, which basically they mean they looked at the numbers and they looked at how many people a year die from medicine. In fact, they just said this morning, it was on Fox News, one of these doctors says 200,000 people a year die from surgery botches. 200,000. 900,000 people a year die from iatrogenic deaths. Number one death in the planet. More than cancer, more than heart disease, more than anything else. It's doctor-induced, medicine-induced deaths. That's a fact. Gary Knowles' work, Death by Medicine, proved that. And the recent study that I'm talking about in the American Journal of Medicine talked about how if we just got rid of medicine, if we just, we were done with it, if we were done with drugs, we were done with surgery, we were done with that stuff, this is what the journal article said, that we would be no worse off as a society. Do you understand that? So what I mean is, if we just got rid of medicine, that we would not have more deaths or fewer deaths, it would just stay the same. But we would save $2.5 trillion dollars a year. 2.5. That's what that article said. Not Dr. Eric, that's what the article said. I thought that was pretty crazy. Don't you think that's kind of crazy? We live in a really crazy world. Now with everybody's got the unaffordable health care, right? The Affordable Health Care Act. Sorry, Obama. People now have more access to insurance, but they have more access to a crappy system. A symptom-based system. A system where you have a symptom, here's a drug that can kill you. The American Medical Association and the CDC just recently said a couple weeks ago, we got to stop giving so many narcotics because opioids is the number one over-the-counter, the number one hands-down cause of, of overdoses on the planet. Drugs that are properly prescribed to you and to me. We have a huge drug problem in this world, but it's not a drug problem you think. A bunch of kids in the back alley doing a bunch of dope or doing other things. No, it's a bunch of kids and moms living in the suburbs taking prescribed drugs that are, they're killing themselves with. That's our society. So, so let's talk a little bit. I had a conversation the other day about, about safety and healthcare. And I had a doctor who had the audacity, the ignorance to say that chiropractic can hurt you. It can kill you. And I, I just thought, okay, let's, let, let me let this joker hang himself. I let him, let him go. So I let him talk. Don't go see a chiropractor. They can hurt you. Chiropractic is not, we don't medically approve of chiropractic care. No kidding, you don't, Joker. You know why? Because we're all about finding the cause of the problem and fixing it and not treating the damn symptoms. By the way, we're going to take your patients away because we're going to get them better. And when they say, oh, I don't need these drugs anymore, I don't need to go see these guys, I just go to the chiropractor, do some nutrition, get adjusted, I'm good? Yeah, that's a threat to you. I get it. Listen, I'm not anti-medicine. I've got medicine in my office. I've got medical doctors, nurse practitioners, all that stuff, but we don't push drugs. We treat the cause. And so this doctor was talking, and the doctor says, don't go see a chiropractor. They could kill you. And we said, well, how, I mean, let me just ask, I mean, how many people a, a year die from chiropractors? And the, the guy says, well, I, I'm not sure, but I know a lot. I see in my practice every day people having strokes and all these problems. I said, how many have you seen personally? A, a lot. Well, the guy was lying. He's never seen one in his life. He tells people he's seen them because that's the American Medical Association's uh, disclaimer. That's their standard. That's their, what they say. And so then I said, well, let me ask you a question. So, so if chiropractic, chiropractic was so risky and it killed so many people, shouldn't my malpractice insurance be like ridiculously high? 
You know, like, because the higher your malpractice is, that's actually worse. Look at this number, and they, they find out how safe and effective your care is. And I said, well, let me ask you a question. How much is your malpractice per year? And he goes, what does that have to do with it? I go, well, malpractice has a lot to do with the safety and efficacy of your, your treatments. And I go, is it $30,000, $40,000? He says, it's around $60,000 a year. He said his malpractice is $60,000 a year. Do you know why? That's because what he does can kill people. That's because what he does can maim people. That's because what he does can hurt people and screw them up for life. You know how much my malpractice is? 2000 bucks for the year. Now, I don't get to come up with that number. That number gets to come up by actuaries. People who look at the numbers, measure and analyze the insurance and tell us, and they tell us what's safe and what's not. Two Gs. You know how freaking safe that is what I do? Come on, by, this argument is done. Chiropractic safe, medicine is not. It kills 900,000 people a year. I'm not saying that you need to go home right now and throw your medicine away. I'm not saying you need to fire your medical doctor. I'm saying that if you have a problem, you have a symptom, you have a condition, you need to find the cause of the problem, you need to fix the cause of the problem. You need to get healthier. And not one person watching this video ever thinks that taking more drugs can make them healthier. If you're a healthy person, I give you a sack of drugs to take, are you gonna be healthier or more sick? More sick. But the reason why you take your drugs and take your dope and all that stuff is because you don't know there's any other way. But there is. And you need to get plugged into that. It even says in the Bible, without knowledge, my people perish. I want to give you knowledge. Many of my colleagues want to give you knowledge. Doctor in Latin means teacher. We're here to teach you, inspire you, and educate you to take action. But you've got to be willing to do what it takes. You gotta work to get healthy again. This is not some easy thing. You just come in, lay down, we adjust you, give you some vitamins, whammo, you're cured. Doesn't work that way. Everything you need to heal is inside your body, and that's proof. It can happen, it's been proven. I know this may sound like tough love, but it's the truth. So get plugged in. Get, get on my website, go to naputiwellness.com, share that with your friends and family. Give us a call if you got questions, 314 544 5600. Call my team. I've got chiropractors, medical doctors, nurses. We're all here to serve you. Get plugged into the radio program that we do. Every Sunday at 3 p.m., we do a show live. It's called Wellness Matters. It's on 971 FM News Talk Radio. We're here to help get you and your family to that next level because our mission is to help, our mission is to serve. We want to give you the opportunity to have optimal performance in life. And it can be done. But you got to be willing to do what it takes. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your time. Please share this with your friends and family. I look forward to seeing you on your next visit. I look forward to meeting the rest of you. Have a great day.